Representatives from government, law enforcement, industry, academia and European experts on the Schengen system have taken part in an Interpol workshop assessing visa procedures for both ASEAN and non-ASEAN nationals. Organized by Interpol's EU ASEAN Migration and Border Management program, 25 participants took part in the two-day workshop that focused on facilitating the mobility of people throughout the region. The workshop is very useful to gain a better understanding about the aspiration of ASEAN to try to uh, come up with a common visa using uh, or learning from the experience of the Schengen uh, common visa. It's fascinating to see that some of the issues that are currently relevant in the context of ASEAN uh, were very much relevant at the time uh, when Schengen first started out. Schengen, the borderless area uh, in the European Union where there's also a common visa policy. With a population of more than 600 million, Economic growth across the ASEAN region has placed an increased demand on existing border management security requirements and procedures. This is a place where we want to, uh, we want to interact more, we want to bring more students, we want to bring more business people, uh, we want to increase tourism and for all of that we need, we need, a, we need a, a high level of interaction in between the different ASEAN countries, we need a high level of trust and interoperability uh, between different ASEAN countries and the European Union and Interpol can play a very important role uh, in, in that, in that uh, perspective. Through a series of such workshops, ASEAN member states are contributing to a research document with a view to developing and reinforcing its practical recommendations on mobility and border management across each of the ten ASEAN member states. It has built a very good platform for all those concerns to come together. We have everybody that, is, that could give good input into the um, agenda that we have at hand. We have those from security background, we have the scholars, we have um, those well-versed in economics of ASEAN. So this is all very comprehensive and this, I'm sure, is going to help us to move forward. I hope that uh, it will uh, encourage our member to agree on uh, common uh, visa scheme as soon as possible because now we are uh, moving fast to integrate it economically, politically, but culturally and other uh, societal aspects still need some time. The final report on ASEAN common visa feasibility will be delivered in January 2018.